the hints examination consists of three components head impulse nystagmus test of skew the acronym hi indicates head impulse n indicates nystagmus and ts indicates test of skew now at first we will discuss about head impulse Head impulse test detects unilateral hypofunction of the peripheral vestibular system caused mainly by acute vestibulopathy. Normally, a functional vestibular system will identify any movement of the head position and rapidly correct eye movement accordingly so that the center of the vision remains on a target. This method will test this vestibular ocular reflex in a patient. In order to perform the test, the clinician sits face to face with the patient and holding the patient's head from the front. Patient is advised to fix their gaze on a target, usually examiner's nose, and the head is rapidly turned to one side and then to other side while watching the eyes for presence or absence of any corrective movements. If the right ear has intact peripheral vestibular function, when the head is turned to the right, the vestibular ocular reflex moves the eyes to maintain visual fixation. If the right ear has impaired vestibular function, when the head is turned to the right, the eyes move with it, breaking visual fixation and a refixation saccade is seen as the eyes dart back to examiner's face. Now we will discuss about nystagmus. According to the direction of fast phase of nystagmus, there are two types, unidirectional and bidirectional. If the nystagmus is only to the left or only to the right, then it is unidirectional nystagmus. But if the nystagmus is to the right upon right lateral gaze and to the left upon left lateral gaze, then it is bidirectional nystagmus. Observation for nystagmus in primary right and left gaze is done. If there is no nystagmus, then it is normal. In case of only horizontal unidirectional nystagmus, then the condition is reassuring. But in any other type of nystagmus, for example vertical or bidirectional nystagmus, then it is predictive of central pathology. Now we will discuss about test of skew. To perform the test of skew, first have the patient look at your nose, then cover one eye, then rapidly uncover the eye. In a central cause of vertigo, when the eye is covered and then uncovered, the vertical alignment of the eyes may be different and a vertical corrective movement will be seen. Note that the hints exam should be performed only in patients with continuous vertigo because if not active continuous vertigo, then vestibular ocular reflex will remain intact and head impulse testing will be normal with no corrective saccade observed. In case of benign paroxysmal positional vertigo where there is not continuous vertigo and in patients without vertigo, findings may falsely suggest central pathology.